Hey y'all, welcome back for another video. If you're new here, my name's Mark and I typically talk about photography, camera gear, travel, and pretty much whatever else I feel like. But today, I have a dirty secret that I need to tell you about. And the truth is that I've never actually cleaned, well, I've never comprehensively cleaned any of my lenses before. B&H found out about this and they sent me out this cleaning kit. And uh, let me walk you through what it looks like and how to clean your lenses. This lens has been through quite a bit. I've dropped it. Uh, I'll, I talk more about this lens in another video, so go check that one out. This is the Sigma 20 millimeter, but I bring this lens out with no lens caps, no nothing. It's just covered in dust and glitter and drag droppings and all kinds of things, but it's time to, uh, to properly clean some of my lenses. Special thanks to B&H for sending out this lens cleaning kit. Uh, it's I think this is only like 20 bucks, so check it out at the link down below in the description. So this is the Sensei, 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 Sensei. This is the, this is the cleaning kit. But uh, in here, you've got a couple of things. You've got like your lens douche and your, uh, your, your little brush. They've got your cleaning pen, some cleaning solution, as well as some, uh, as well as a microfiber cloth and some Q-tips and things like that. So, comes in this, cute little carrying case. So the kit has a blower. You may have seen these in the past. They look a little bit like a Anyway, this is gonna blow off most of the uh, dust right off your lens and really take most of the job. There's also this cleaning brush to help knock off any additional dust. It retracts, so it keeps it clean, so you're not like touching it with your oily hands. There's some cleaning solution that's in here. You've got another cleaning brush, which will allow you to get deep into the corners. It's two-sided. It's really easy to clean that. They also include some Q-tips if you really wanna get into, uh, into it with your lenses. And there's a whole bunch of pre-moistened lens wipes for you to take with you on the go. I like to keep a couple of these in my camera bag, so just in case anything crazy gets on my lens while I'm out and I don't have to go through this whole process, I just use some of these wipes to really kind of make the difference. Um, but making sure you've got at least your blower and your wipes, that's usually gonna be your best bet. I have used some uh, cleaning wipes from Zeiss, so I'll uh, leave a link for those as well. They come in like an a million pack. Uh, my mom got them for me for Christmas. There's also this really big microfiber cloth that should last quite a while. Look at this, it's so big. Stupid. Okay. And everything fits nicely right in this case. So first thing we are gonna to wanna to do when you clean your lenses is use your, uh, your blower, I'll use the right term, and blow off as much junk and dust as you can. And you wanna do this first to get as much off of here because if you start wiping it around and brushing things around, there's just more things to you know, create abrasions on the lens. So like go ham here and just like really blow off as much as you can. And uh, make sure to get both sides of your lens as well because if you've got stuff on this side of the lens, it's gonna start showing up in your picture as well as on the other side. I'm gonna keep telling myself that people come here for the sound effects, but they don't, so. The lens looks pretty clean at this point, and you, you could stop here. Um, but one thing that we've left behind are all of the oils and residue that builds up on the outside of this lens as well. And that's why we're gonna wanna use a cleaning solution or like a pre-moistened lens wipe. But I'll apply a little bit of that solution directly onto the cloth here. Just spray a little bit on here. Just a couple of squirts should do the trick. And then again, just work circular motions until you're nice and clean. On the other side, a 
couple more little squirts. Ooh, that's so much clearer now. So much clearer. So after you use the lens wipe, if you still have a little bit of buildup around the edges of the lens, there's a pen that's included in the kit as well. And that'll allow you to really get in here and go all the way around and get those edges cleaned out. Nice and clean. I love it. There's also this brush included in the kit. So if you have to use this brush, that's also another option for you, but you've got a bunch of ways to make sure you got your lenses super clean and it all comes in one little kit and it all builds up right in here. Now, if you're still noticing some issues or some specs on your photos, you might have some stuff on your sensor. One last thing you'll wanna do while cleaning your lenses is inspect your sensor to see if there's any dust on your sensor. So depending on what kind of camera you have, uh, the sensor may or may not be exposed here on this Canon M6 Mark II. We can see the exposed sensor and a lot of mirrorless cameras, this will be the case. Uh, on the R series of cameras, there's a shutter door which you can deactivate in the menus. And if you're using a mirrored camera, it's the same thing. You'll just put your camera into sensor cleaning mode and it'll open the mirror up to expose the sensor. Now, do not touch your sensor, okay? You don't wanna get any fingerprints on here. You don't wanna, you don't wanna fuck up your camera, basically. Um, but what you can do is use your blower and hold your camera kind of upside down in that position so any dust kind of falls out and just lightly blow to blow out any dust that might be on that sensor. If you're still experiencing issues with spots on your photos after that, or the sensor just doesn't look clean, I highly recommend seeking professional help or sending your camera off to some kind of cleaning service. You don't wanna get into messing up your sensor or, or up your camera. All right, well, I'm gonna clean the rest of my lenses and I don't expect you to hang out with me for that, so I'm gonna end the video here. If you like this content and you like my style, then do me the honor of giving a like on this video, or leaving a comment down below, even subscribing if you, if you really like what we're doing here. Uh, it's small actions like that that help creators like me who don't have a huge following rank up in the search results. So thank you for uh, being a subscriber. Thank you for watching this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and there's links in the description for, for this cleaning kit and a couple other things. So check it out. Okay. Okay. I think we're done here. Great.